Welcome back to Geospatial Intelligence Innovations, the podcast where we dive deep into the world of geospatial intelligence and how it's reshaping industries from agriculture to defense and beyond. I'm your host, Aybars Östuna, and I'm thrilled to have you here for episode 9. In our previous episodes, we have explored the many ways geospatial intelligence is impacting sectors like sustainability, urban planning, and even artificial intelligence. Today, we are going to take a closer look at one of the most important fields where geospatial intelligence is making a significant impact, which is healthcare. The application of geospatial data and intelligence in healthcare has been growing rapidly, providing new ways to understand, predict, and manage public health. From tracking the disease outbreaks and optimizing healthcare resources to improving health infrastructure and promoting health equity, GeoInt is becoming an indispensable tool for improving health systems around the world. In today's episode, we will explore how geospatial intelligence is helping to improve healthcare delivery, optimize resource allocation, and enhance global public health efforts. So let's get started on how mapping the world's health is leading to better outcomes for individuals and communities alike. Let's begin with one of the most vital applications of geospatial intelligence in healthcare tracking disease outbreaks. In recent years, we have seen firsthand how important it is to have systems in place that can quickly detect and respond to infectious disease outbreaks. Whether it's a localized epidemic or a global pandemic like COVID-19, geospatial intelligence has been a game changer in monitoring and managing disease outbreaks. By mapping the spread of diseases in real time, GeoInt allows public health authorities to track how diseases are moving and identify the most affected areas. This enables governments and organizations to act swiftly, allocate resources and take preventive measures. For example, during the Ebola outbreak in West Africa, Geospatial intelligence was used to track the movement of infected individuals, monitor healthcare facility capacities, and even predict where the disease might spread next. Satellite data combined with real-time ground-level reporting helped pinpoint outbreak hotspots and ensure that resources such as medical supplies and healthcare workers were sent to the areas that needed them most. Similarly, during the COVID-19 pandemic, geospatial intelligence played a crucial role in tracking the virus's spread across countries and regions. Data on population density, mobility patterns, and healthcare infrastructure helped public health officials understand where the virus was likely to spread, and it was instrumental in monitoring the effectiveness of lockdowns quarantine measures and vaccination campaigns. With advancements in satellite imagery, mobile phone data and real-time geospatial analysis, disease outbreak tracking has become faster and more accurate. This ability to act quickly and precisely has been key to containing outbreaks and preventing further spread. Another significant area where geospatial intelligence is improving healthcare is in the mapping of healthcare infrastructure and assessing healthcare access. Many countries, particularly in the developing world, struggle with uneven healthcare access, where some regions may have well equipped hospitals while others may lack even the most basic facilities. Geospatial intelligence is helping policymakers and health organizations better understand these disparities by mapping out healthcare infrastructure across entire regions. By visualizing the locations of hospitals, clinics, pharmacies, and other healthcare facilities, geospatial tools can identify gaps in coverage and get help target resources 
to underserved areas. For example, by analyzing geospatial data, health organizations can identify regions with limited access to health care and prioritize the construction of new facilities or mobile clinics in those areas. This ensures that healthcare resources are allocated more equitably, improving access to care for rural or marginalized populations. Geospatial intelligence also helps track health systems' ability to respond to crises such as natural disasters or pandemics. By mapping out critical infrastructure like emergency response centers, vaccination sites, and isolation wards, governments and organizations can better plan their disaster response strategies and ensure that healthcare systems are resilient in the face of emergencies. In addition, by tracking healthcare access and delivery through geospatial data, public health experts can study factors that affect health outcomes, like transportation networks, proximity to healthcare services, or socioeconomic status. This information is vital for improving health policies and reducing health inequalities. In addition to tracking outbreaks and mapping healthcare access, geospatial intelligence is also playing an important role in predicting diseases and promoting preventative healthcare. By combining historical health data with geospatial analysis, public health professionals can identify patterns and trends that provide early warning signs of emerging health threats. For example, geospatial models can be used to predict the spread of vector-borne diseases like malaria, dengue, or Zika virus. These diseases are often transmitted by mosquitoes and their spread is influenced by environmental factors such as temperature, rainfall, and standing water. By analyzing climate data, Land use patterns and historical disease data, geospatial intelligence can help predict where these diseases are likely to spread next and allow for preemptive interventions such as targeted mosquito control or public health campaigns. Similarly, geospatial tools can be used to track the spread of chronic diseases like diabetes, heart disease and obesity. By mapping the distribution of these diseases in relation to factors like diet, lifestyle, and access to healthcare, public health officials can develop targeted programs to address the root causes and reduce health disparities. Moreover, by analyzing social determinants of health, like housing, education, and income, geospatial intelligence can help identify communities at higher risk for certain diseases. This enables healthcare systems to implement more effective preventative measures, including screening programs, health education, and targeted interventions. By using geospatial intelligence to predict disease patterns and trends, they can proactively address health issues before they become widespread, improving overall health outcomes and reducing health care costs in the long term. When disaster strikes, whether it's a natural disaster, an outbreak of infectious disease, or a humanitarian crisis, effective emergency response and health disaster management are crucial. Geospatial intelligence has proven to be an invaluable tool in responding to such crises, enabling organizations to act quickly and efficiently. One of the primary ways GeoInt is used in emergency response is through real-time situational awareness. By integrating satellite imagery, drone footage, and ground-level reporting, geospatial intelligence helps responders understand the scope of a disaster and prioritize resources. For example, during a large-scale disaster like an earthquake or a flood, Geospatial intelligence can identify damaged areas, assess transportation routes, and help allocate emergency healthcare teams and supplies. Additionally, geospatial intelligence plays a key role in managing health disasters such as disease outbreaks. By mapping the spread of a disease and assessing healthcare facility capacities, 
Public health organizations can make more informed decisions about where to deploy vaccines, medical staff, and supplies. This was particularly evident during the Ebola outbreak in West Africa, where geospatial intelligence allowed teams to monitor the spread of the virus and direct response efforts to the hardest hit areas. Drones and satellite imagery are also used in the aftermath of natural disasters to conduct damage assessments. In many cases, roads or infrastructure may be destroyed, making it difficult for emergency teams to assess the situation. Drones equipped with geospatial tools can fly over disaster zones, providing real-time imagery to help responders understand the extent of the damage and make more accurate decisions on where to focus their efforts. With the ability to track events in real time and predict future risks, geospatial intelligence is a vital tool in managing health disasters and improving response time. Lastly, let's explore how geospatial intelligence is helping address global health equity. Health disparities exist worldwide, with certain populations and regions facing significantly worse health outcomes due to factors like poverty, limited access to health care, and geographic location. Geospatial intelligence in helping bridge this gap by providing a clearer picture of where health disparities exist and why. By mapping out the distribution of health resources, diseases, and social determinants of health, geospatial data can highlight underserved areas and vulnerable populations. This is particularly important in global health efforts as organizations like the World Health Organization, UNICEF, and Medicine Sans Frontieres use geospatial intelligence to design more targeted interventions. For example, Geospatial data helps identify regions where malnutrition, maternal health issues, or lack of clean water are most severe, enabling the allocation of resources and support where it's needed most. Moreover, by using geospatial intelligence to track healthcare access and outcomes, governments can develop policies that promote health equity. For example, by ensuring that underserved communities have access to transportation, healthcare facilities, and nutrition programs, policymakers can create a more equitable healthcare system that improves outcomes for everyone. Looking to the future, the role of geospatial intelligence in healthcare will only continue to grow. As technology advances and more data becomes available, geospatial intelligence will become even more integrated into healthcare systems worldwide. In the future, we can expect to see more sophisticated predictive models for disease outbreaks, enhanced real-time monitoring capabilities, and more personalized healthcare interventions. As AI and machine learning technologies evolve, they will further enhance geospatial analysis, allowing for better predictions and more precise interventions. With the growing emphasis on digital health and health data integration, geospatial intelligence will also play a key role in linking healthcare data with other types of data like social, environmental and economic data to create a more holistic view of public health. Ultimately, geospatial intelligence has the potential to revolutionize healthcare by making it more accessible efficient and equitable for people around the world. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Geospatial Intelligence Innovations. And also this is the last episode of Geospatial Intelligence Innovations. We have explored how geospatial intelligence is improving healthcare delivery, optimizing resources and addressing global health challenges. From disease outbreak, tracking to improving health equity. So thank you so much for joining us today. Be sure to subscribe. We will be discussing uh, more in different languages. And also another new podcast will be coming soon. 
Until next time, stay informed, stay healthy, and keep exploring the world of geospatial intelligence.